So next what we're going to do is to fit our reserve onto our paramotor. Uh, it's going to be in this pocket. However, since I have chosen a right-handed throttle, it's much more difficult to throw a reserve on the right side with the throttle in your hand. So I'm going to swap it over to the left side. So first we need to take this pocket off and swap the two pockets from left to right, right to left. Um, what you do is basically <clears throat> put up this, you pull off this Velcro strip that's all the way around the pocket. And when you look underneath the Velcro strip, there's a zipper that resides underneath there. And on this side, the zipper starts up top here. On the other side, it starts at the bottom. So they can be interchangeable. So you zip the zipper around. After the, the Velcro strip is torn off, and you zip it down, and around, and hopefully it comes popping off. I think it should open. There it goes. Boom. There's your pocket. And somehow we're gonna have to squeeze this huge reserve inside that pocket. We'll have to figure out how to do that next. Okay, once you have your uh, your reserve unwrapped off of the plastic, um, you want to attach the handle to the back side, which is right here. Basically, you flip it over, you take the handle off of here, there's a little Velcro strap that pulls that tight, then you take the handle that's Velcroed on there, pull it out, pull it out like that, and then you pull these little pieces of plastic loose from here, and you have it in your hand. What you do after that is you take the... <clears throat> the little strap and shove it through this hole here and then once you have it through the hole you take the whole piece and shove it through that and pull it through once you get it all through then you pull it tight it's held on there like that that's what you use to release your parachute or your uh your reserve parachute so once you have the strap on there flip it over i'm using a left-handed throw so it's going to be on my left side so i'm actually going to want the bridles coming out this hole right here if you're doing right the bridles will come out this side also i'd like to note that make sure that you do not pull this thing through the bungee there if it comes apart you have to have it resent in and repacked. Um, so you want to open up the package here. Slide open. You want to take these bridles and have it coming out this side for a left hand throw or this side for a right hand throw. I'm doing left hand, so I fling it like coming like that. It'll come right out the top there. Um, the first flap you want to use is opposite of the bridle, which is this one. Um, what you need is a little piece of, of uh, rope. And you take that little piece of rope and you put it through this little eyelet here. Like so. So you're holding on to the eyelet. Once you have this rope through the eyelet here, as shown, next you want to pull down the flap that says Parajet on it. So it's the top flap. And you take this, these two pieces of rope, or there are two now because it's looped through the eyelet, and you feed them up through the hole like so. And you pull it through. Now you want to kind of tuck stuff in. I think get everything tucked in. But you want this little this little piece of loop to come through this little hole here. 
kind of start pushing things into place. <clears throat> you get your little handle and push that off to the side. Then you take the bottom flap and bring that up. And then you take your two pieces of rope and run them through that hole in the bottom flap and pull that through. So then it's all pulled through. And you start pushing some of this stuff in. It all stays in there. <clears throat> Once you get it kind of situated and you have the loop through, you take one of these yellow pieces of um, plastic and push it through the little loop that's pulled through all the little holes like so. And once it's through, you can take your piece of rope and pull it out because the piece of, of plastic is now holding it in place. After that's in place, you start situating the rest of the package in there so it all fits in. It's going to get in there nice and compact. Um, next thing you can do is to work on the other side now the same way. You take your piece of rope and you run actually one side of the rope through the other side little loop like so. So you have that hook down there. Get it kind of even at the top so it's easier to feed. Hold it like that. And you do the same thing. You pull this up and you run it through again the top flap. It says Perigit on it. Pull that through. You kind of start situating, pushing the material in. And start stuffing it and pushing it and adjusting things a little bit until everything's actually in there. All right. And then the loop actually comes through. So there's the loop right there. And you kind of take this, the two pieces of uh, string, and stuff them up through the last hole. And you pull that tight. And you keep stuffing stuff in there. Like so. All looking nice. It's all compact until it all goes together. And you have the loop coming through all the holes, just like the other side. You take the piece of plastic. Once you get this thing all the way through. And you run it through the loop. If you can. It's, it's more tricky because it's so compact. It's so tight. It becomes really difficult to get this through now. It's actually kind of twisted, so it's a little trickier than the other side. There's so much pressure on it right now. So there it is. I actually got it through, like so. And and there, it's all together. Okay, once you got it all kind of uh, looking kind of symmetrical, looking pretty good, got these little pieces of plastic pointing downward, like so. Should look just like this. This should be kind of loose. These should be dangling. What you want to do is you want to take these little pieces of plastic 
and there's a little sleeve here that it fits into. You want to be really careful because you have to back this thing out, kind of. Um, and then you let it slide right, whoa, almost, almost came out. You slide it into this little, there's a sleeve here that the little white, or the yellow plastic piece can go into. But you don't want to come out of that little loop because then it pops out and it's done. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to pull this piece of rope out. Don't need that anymore. Okay, it comes out. Um, then you back this thing out. Until you can get it into the sleeve. A little tricky, but you should be able to do it. Oops, almost had it. Like that. So a little plastic thing goes into the sleeve like that. Sitting inside there now, on both sides like that. Then you take these little flaps um, that are your the ends of your handle, and there's a more there's sleeves for the flaps. So you take it, open up the sleeve, just stuff that baby in there. It goes right in there, so nice and nice and tidy. Do the same thing on the other side. Pull that thing out. Ooh. Tricky getting this one in. Last piece to go in. Always the trickiest. There, it's like that. It's all nice and tidy. Kind of compress this together like so. That looks pretty nice. You know, bridles are coming out like that. And that's your parachute, or your reserve at least. Um, next up, we will attach the spare to the paramotor and attach the bridles on and the mallions. Okay, we're back with our spare chute here. Uh, we have it all uh, packed and ready to go. Uh, they said I was going to move the, um, since I am throttling with my right hand, I'm going to move the spare over to the left side, which is not typical for people to do, but I'm going to do it. Um, now I'm going to move this spare pouch to the other side, which opens up another problem, um, minor problem. The zipper on this on this side, it goes downward, which holds the materials in. Once I move it to the other side, it'll be tipped the other way, so when I open it up, the the contents will fall potentially fall out in the air which is not a good thing but I'm going to change it for now uh, maybe later on I'll change my throttle hands to left um, I think the throttle I have can be either left or right um, it's universal so we'll see uh, so what you do is you again you unzip un velcro this strip and then there's a zipper hiding underneath the velcro and you unzip this little pouch and it pops off like that it looks similar to uh the bag that where the spare chute goes um, this will get swapped to the other side and your chute comes up here now um, so it has a zipper zipper Piece is contained on the pouch and or pack so this just goes up here this is where it gets a little tricky <clears throat> um, you have to put this in place wow this will be tricky up here lift it hard the bridle is in there and wow this this is going to be a little tricky getting it in there. So I'll get, move this out of the way. There we go. That's better. Get the swing arm out of the way. And then somehow, it'll line up the zippers. Oops. Let's see. Clean on. Like that. Okay. Oh, I got it. There we go. So, it gets zipped on. Like so. Hmm. 
close up the zipper all the way. Well, it's all zipped up. Then you can take your Velcro little strip that covers the zipper and secure that over to hold it all in place. I'll tell you what, the zip Velcro holds like glue. It is like really difficult taking this thing apart. Out. And then you have it velcroed. And then there's a couple little straps here that you have to put together. But after that, your bridles basically come up this way. And you want make sure you want to make sure the bridles come over the top of the swing arm and not underneath. Because if they go underneath, um, when you throw the chute, the spare chute, it'll catch on this and it'll lift the, the paramotor sideways and you'll be falling down sideways. So you don't want to do that. It needs to come over the top like this. Up and around and down here like so. Like that. All right. I'm going to get these other pieces put together and I will be back. There, now that we have the uh, spare in the bag and installed on the paramotor, uh, we need to uh, attach the bridles um, to the paramotor itself. Uh, what you need is your mallions. Uh, these are the mallions. And they go inside here, <clears throat> um, out of these little red hoops. So you take like this. I believe they go like this. They're like so. Spin it like that. Open them up. Like so. Spin it like that. The mallions are in place. Um, after that, um, you want to get, there's a couple little, uh, Velcro little straps for the, the bridles will go through. One is right here. The other is right back here. That's here somewhere. There it is. There. On top. So you take your bridles, <clears throat> it's non-steerable and square, so it doesn't matter which one is which, I believe. So you just run the bridles up here, um, let it kind of dangle for now, and then kind of run it through, oops, one just goes here, and you attach it to your mallion, like so. Yeah. Close your mallion. Make sure that's closed up. Take our little wrench. I am using a vice grip. And you don't have to crank it super hard, but just enough so vibration doesn't open it. And you crank it down a little bit. Then you take this Velcro and close it up inside. Like so. There. It's inside there. Uh, it's one side. And then the other side, so over here, put the strap through the mallion, close up the mallion. Use your vice grip or your wrench, crank it slightly, and run this, this um, bridle underneath this strap here for this side. the velcro down to hold it in place and then you take this velcro strap and cover 
this mallion and bridle strap on this side. Like so, stuff it underneath there. Stuff this one underneath there. And then they're all connected together. Um, next, you need to you need to actually stuff the remainder of the bridles into the bag here. So turn this so you can see. But basically, take this bridle straps and start pushing them in there, kind of not not to make a mess of anything inside there but start pushing it in um, maybe you can even fold it <clears throat> like so um, and then just start stuffing it in there And then, oh, I forgot to, actually forgot to uh, cover this up. So this goes under the Velcro strap here with the two bridles. Swings around, covers those up. This one's the strap. Hmm. There go. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, I see, it's alongside. Okay goes on this side and then spins around and velcro's right to there. So it's so. all nice and tidy then. Can't see much. But it's there. Take the rest of the bridle lines and again stuff them inside there. Inside the pouch. I'm sure they're well inside there and they cannot come out. You do not want them to deploy um, without actually wanting to deploy. <clears throat> so then they all get inside there and there it is. That's it. That is your reserve install. Pretty good.